coronavirus pandemic is taking a toll on the U.S. workforce. As of March 13, 2020, at least 18% of working adults have been laid off or had their work hours reduced. Unemployment claims across the nation have spiked. The worst thing about all this is just the, the uncertainty, you know, the uncertainty and, and the fear that goes along with it because I, at this moment, like, I don't know what's going to happen. There's no clearly defined time that we're going to be out of work. My husband, he, he works, he does a lot of work out of town, and he's been at home now for three weeks, and I've been at home for two weeks. So neither one of us have any income coming in right now. And uh, it's really quite unnerving to think about, you know, where we're going to be at next month because it'll be time to pay rent again. Many employers have directed employees to work from home in an effort to reduce the spread of COVID-19. But some lack the ability to work remotely due to insufficient computer or internet access. 21.3 million Americans lack access to at least 25 megabit per second broadband. While about 29% of the workforce can work from home, the rest are required to show up in order to get paid. This especially affects vulnerable hourly workers. We need that income. I'm working, you know, at Goodwill and trying to take classes there, and it's the same situation. You can't be where you are not allowed to be. We're all just waiting for that to be released so we can go back to living our lives and being productive, finding a way to survive. Right now, we're, we're not, and I don't even know how we're going to overcome the financial devastation for just this period. 81.9 million workers are paid an hourly rate, and those with customer-facing jobs are at greatest risk of getting infected and spreading the virus. Just washing my hands constantly, trying not to touch my face, uh, trying to limit contact with customers as much as possible. I'm not having people sign the receipts anymore because I don't want to pass them a pen and pass it back. If I show symptoms, I'll stay home, but until then, I'm going to keep working. I don't have a choice. I mean, I've got to pay rent and stuff. I, you know, People don't have that luxury to stay home. The coronavirus pandemic is also devastating to 24% of Americans who don't have paid sick leave benefits. Without any system in place, workers are forced to take on paid time off or report to work sick. President Donald Trump signed into law the Families First Coronavirus Response Act on March 18, 2020, requiring employers with less than 500 employees to provide limited paid leave for workers affected by the virus. The bill excludes larger companies, which hire 48% of the nation's workers. Of course it does. As the coronavirus pandemic continues to unfold, more layoffs are expected as businesses continue to struggle financially. It may be some time before experts fully understand the economic impact of the pandemic.